everyone uh, I want to make a real quick video today on uh, improving performance in your game I don't have a lot of new content to show I got something in the works um, it's gonna be pretty big that I'll show soon this is just a real quick tip video um, I expanded the world to be a million cells big and I got two thousand of these uh, little rapids running around and I wanted to show that um, you notice when I stand still uh, the FPS is at 60 here but if, I've, if I start moving around it drops it starts flinching and then on average it'll drop to you know mid 50 uh, frames per second um, and so the first point here is the update plus the draw time is what I was looking at um, and I wanted that to be less than 16 milliseconds with the two of them combined because that would be about 50, uh, 60 frames per second um, but I was getting this FPS drop and the update uh, plus draw averages were nowhere near the 16 millisecond point. Um, so what I did is I added this spikes percentage that tells me what percent of the frames the update takes more than 10 uh, milliseconds to process. Then that showed the problem. It's not that every update is taking too long, it's that only about 20% of them are taking way too long. Um, and so digging around I found that it's the vision beams that's really causing this issue. And here I just shortened the length of the vision beams to be really short so that they didn't cause any issues. And now the the spikes percentage went way down. And the reason that it uh, it did that, like it only uh, uh, spiked when I was moving. When I was standing still it was fine. Um, and that's because the vision beams are only recalculated when you move to uh, a new cell or if you've moved during that update. Um, so that's the first tip I had. Um, the second tip is, uh, so when people go to try to improve the performance in their game, they're going to look at something um, that's inefficient and try to make it more efficient. They might say, oh, the way I'm doing this, I can make that 10 times faster if I wanted to. And so they tackle that. And um, the point I wanted to make is that is exactly the wrong strategy to have when you're going into improve the performance in your game. Um, instead, you want to look for bottlenecks. The bottlenecks are really the only important thing. Like you could make a particular section of your code a hundred times faster, and it wouldn't make any difference to the overall update time. Um, but you improve, you know, one line of code in a bottleneck, and you could have a 10x performance improvement. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. A little trick I like to use is just press the pause button in Visual Studio or whatever IDE you're working with, and see where it breaks into, and then just do this a few times. And okay, you guys can't actually see this. Fraps isn't capturing Visual Studio, is it? Well, that's going to make this a pretty lousy video then. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I guess you can take my word for it that it it's uh, it's breaking into a very particular point in the code. And if I pause it and take that out, I want to just show you uh, what happens. You see the average uh, dropped from 3 to 0.8 or whatever for the update. Um, and this is a really useful technique. Uh, and what I'd recommend is just pressing the pause button, play, pause button, play, pause button, play. And if it pauses at different places all over your code, um, it, it'll be a little harder to find the bottlenecks. But what's most likely going to happen if you pause when there's a slowdown, it's probably going to break somewhere around the code that's... Uh, that's that's causing that slowdown in, in the biggest bottleneck on average so I did that and I just removed a little it was a section of that what I removed is a section of code that uh, when I turn off spawn bad guys it removes all the bad guys and that's you know that's a little bit of debug code and it's nothing that I would have thought of to remove if I hadn't used this technique to find the actual bottleneck um, so Quick little video, thanks for watching.